All right. Shalom. Call her law. Yahweh. Bashem. Yahweh Shah. Bahashem. Raka. Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. Salute to the hopefully elect. Now, um, I'm going to just do, do this uh, quick video. It's not going to be too long. This lesson is on this. Uh, I'm watching um, this uh, channel. Uh, it's called uh, Doggy Diamonds. Um, fair use to, you know, because I'm just. It's a, a question that he asked. You know, I guess he was talking to the audience and he had asked a question and. What I'm going to do is I'm going to answer it through the scriptures, you know. And this, um, it, it was a good question, a question that most Jakes ask. And, and we, got, we got the answers, you know. A lot of these people, when we're on the highways and byways, they walk right past us. We have the answers. This is the truth. But the Heavenly Father only opened up uh, the elect's eyes to see. So if you can't see it, I don't know what to say. You, you most likely get part of the two third. Now, if you can see it, if the Heavenly Father opened your eyes up to see it, then most likely you're the elect. You know, Lord willing, you know, Lord willing, I'm the, the elect. Lord willing, the brothers, you know, Lord willing, I want I want all all of us to make it. But I understand that the Heavenly Father has a plan. You know, so um, without further ado. I'm going to play the, uh, the clip, and it's a, 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 um, a question that Doggy Diamond answered. Well, at. 45 years old with a fucking onesie on. Anyway, um, yeah, let's, let's, let's move along from that. This is disheartening. Um, again, I just, I just want to say, you know, with, no matter what we say, no matter what, um, um, no matter what, I bet you well if the album didn't drop, I bet you they drop it now. I bet you they drop it now. But um my my thing is this, um when you get on platforms, I, I think you should be I think you should be uh really, really conscious of when you say things pertaining to race. Because it's just a then not only that, but you definitely ain't gonna say nothing to offend them. They definitely ain't gonna say nothing to offend them because if you say something to offend them, it's not hearing. Then um, I believe um, who who them, you know, because a lot of Jake always saying them or the powers that be or them, you know, because they have flagged your channel or they have took your channel your uh, your live off or whatever. But the, the they or the them, one time I did a video on who was they, but the they he's talking about are the elites. Esau, Edom, the international bankers, you know, the um, Amalek, you know, per se, you know, but the elites, the people that run a society, you know, the Edomites, the so-called white people, the so-called white man was running society, so... Here, um, he's still in that. He's about to answer the question now. For one, for two, they getting you out of here. So my whole thing is that, you know, when you speak, you speak anything about race, uh, sexual deviance, uh, why does it always, why are we always the loser in it? 1,600 people in the room, only five. Okay, I can answer that. Um, he said, why are we always on the losing end? You know? And I, hey, I, they questions I used to ask um, before I came in the truth, you know. You know, we had we had a feeling, but once we woke up to this word, it all came together like the pieces to the puzzle, you know. So I'm gonna answer that question with the scriptures. He said, "Why are we, as a people, always on a losing end of the stick? And why, when we say something, um, you know, bring out the truth?" These um, Amalekites, you know, the small hats, they'll take the channel down. Why? Because they don't want the truth coming out. But I'm going to answer that question through the scriptures. He said, why are we always on the losing end? All right. And we was just talking about that at camp, um, me and the brothers, the elders. 
uh, he said, um, we were saying that, um, yeah, he said, he said, uh, wow. Let me, I'm gonna just go to the scriptures. Uh, all right. He said, why as a people, why are we always on the losing end? This is Romans chapter nine. And I'm going to start at uh, verse 13. It says, all right, you know what? I can start at 11. It says, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand, not of works, but him that calleth. It, so in other words, this is saying that none of these kids did anything, you know, um, but the heavenly father chose made, made, chose it. That's his, his election. The elect, like I was just saying, the elect. It's all about the elect. So read knowing it says, it was said unto her, the eldest shall serve the younger. Verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. And if you know a little bit about the truth, you know, those, you know, who, who knew or whatever. Uh, the seasoned brothers already know, but uh, Jacob consists of the 12 tribes of Israel, which are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. Esau is the so-called white man, right? So they was twins. All right, so let's read it again. Verse 13, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So the heavenly father loves us, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. So, I got another, the next scripture I'm going to go to is Amos chapter 3 and verse 2. Now keep this in mind. He said, uh, why are we always on a losing end, right? So uh, this is Amos chapter 3. I'm going to start at 1. It says, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Israel is, uh, Jacob's name was changed to Israel, all right? Um, so it says against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt. So we came up out of it. He delivered us from captivity. So we was we was in captivity. We was in slavery in Egypt. Same people that was in slavery in America was in slavery in Egypt. But only we was in slavery under those Hamites. All right. Those the other dark skinned nation. All right. So it says. It says, uh, verse two, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the Lord said, you only, so he only dealing with us based off the scripture. He said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth, meaning all the, all the races, you know, the Israelites are the only uh, nation that he's dealing with. He's not dealing with Moab. He's not dealing with Edomites. He's not dealing with Ammon. You know? He's not dealing with Japheth. He's dealing with Israelites. He said, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. And iniquity, iniquity, iniquities means sin. So that's uh, the reason why we always getting punished. And right now, we, we at the end of our punishment, um, serving his last captivity under the Edomites. So let's go to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. And I'm going to come back to 45, but I just want to go to 15 because uh, I want to um, concentrate on that um, that question he asked. And he said, why are we always on the end of the losing step? All right, because we, we didn't punish right now. But let's go in a little bit more detail. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. And it says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy power to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we up under curses because we disobeyed the heavenly father, you see, throughout history. So. Um, when you brothers get a chance, you, you brothers that's new, read this whole chapter because this is important. You got to read 
Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, verse 1 through 68. But we read verse 15, right? It pretty much says the same thing at 1, uh, verse 1, but it, it, it only describes if we was to do good. The gift and the curse, which we're going to get the gift in the kingdom. We're all these blessings going to come upon us after we get up out this punishment. The God Doggy Diamond said, why are we always on the uh, end of the losing step? Because we went off. We being punished. So henceforth, when you being punished, bad things are, are uh, gifted to you. So right now we in punishment. So we're not getting um, we're on the losing stick right now. But really, we on a winning stick because after after we come up out of our punishment, the so-called white man have to go into slavery. All matter of fact, all of the nations, not only him. Because he, he's going to have company, but he's going to be at the bottom. You see, he's going to get it the worst. And we're going to forever, ever live happily ever after. That's the story, you see. And we're going to live it up too, going through this hell. But we, um, oh yeah, going back to, uh, I had a, I lost my thought, but we was, me and the elder at the camp, we was talking and we were saying, throughout history, we always so, uh, pretty much caught hell. You know, uh, since Adam, you know, I think this is the worst is captivity, but uh, since a Adam, which is how Shah got kicked out of the garden, we, we caught hell, you know, as a nation. We only had one, pretty much one time where we lived it up. And that was around the time with uh, King Solomon. But you can say David at the end because David, we can't really say we we was living it up too. But David always was battling the nation, see? So in that time, we was beefing. We was beefing with the other races or nations and pretty much establishing the kingdom. So when Solomon came on the scene, it was already set up for him to just enjoy himself, you know? He still had some work to do, but it was set up for him to sit on the throne of David, which is really his throne because he's the king of king, the Lord of lords, Yahweh Shah, you know? That uh, King David called Yahweh Shai Lord when he was Solomon as a baby. So imagine your father calling his son Lord, you know? So, you know, going a little deep on that, you know, no, really, which, you know, you brothers can understand, you know, through the spirit. But, um, so going, um, going, coming back, yeah, we pretty much caught hell throughout history, but we're going to live it up in the kingdom, right? And, we um we wasn't under uh we wasn't under derision around you know the dark ages when this devil was when we had this devil now see so it was it was pretty the time where we was up ruling you know see the heavenly father he you know he's a balance it's a balance you know one time we was ruling next time they was ruling and so forth and so forth and other nations had that turn of have, having us in captivity and derision and slavery so. Let's go up to 45. Let's uh, go back to the question he asked. Why are we always on the um, end of the losing step? So I'm going to answer that again. I'm going to answer that again. This is Deuteronomy chapter uh, 28 and verse uh, 43. It says, um, listen up. It says, the stranger that is with, within thee shall get up above thee very high. And thou shalt come down very low. See, that's 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 one of the curses. Hey, Doggy Diamonds, you up un, you you under curses because you're an Israelite, right? But when we get delivered, you know, we're not going to be under those curses because eventually, uh, the two thirds, uh, the two thirds are going to make it in in um in the kingdom, but they're going to have to be reborn and retort all over again. You see. They're not going to make make the first trip. So that's why we're doing. That's one of the reasons why we're doing this work is because uh, one another reason is we might be the elect. You see, so that's why we uh, the elect will be will, will be doing what we're doing is teaching the other because uh, Yahweh Shai told Peter, feed my sheep three times, feed my sheep, feed my sheep, feed my sheep. So, hey, the true prophets will be preaching the truth. So um, that's another look. Here's another curse. It said, verse 44, he shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him. 
he shall be the head and thou shall be the tail. So there you go. There you go. Uh, there you go, homie. That's the answer. We're up under curses. And this is and, and, and all these from verse 15, right? From verse 15 all the way up to 68 is curses. And this curses that we're going through that's not even written in this book. Not even written in the Holy Scriptures. So that's your answer. And I hope, you know, let's read it again. I'm going to start at verse 43 of Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. It says, the stranger that is with within thee and the stranger is the other nations. You see, the stranger that is with it, within thee shall get up very, above thee very high and thou shalt come down very low. So that's why we at the end of the, we always at the losing step because we low right now. It says, he shall lend to thee and thou shall not lend to him. Yeah, we always got to, we always need a loan. See, these, these so-called white people, they don't need a, a lot of them, the elites, the Amalekites, the small hats, they don't need no loans. They the ones that own everything. So what they need a damn loan for? You know, they can go to their own nation and get, you know, handouts, white supremacy and all that. They work amongst them to keep us down. So it says, and thou shall be the tail. It says, he shall lend to thee and thou shall not lend to him. He shall be the head and thou shall be the tail. So that explains it. Verse 45, it says, moreover, listen up. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. See, so we've been destroyed. So that 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 answers your question. We destroyed. It says, because thou hearken, hearkenest not unto the Lord, the voice of the Lord, thy power. And that's what the two thirds are doing right now. They're not listening to the Lord. So that's why they catching hell. Now, some of the two thirds are living it up in this society, even though they are catching hell as well. But they living it up for us financially and uh, because they made a pact with Satan. But they're going to pay for what they did for not listening to the Lord. A lot of these rappers and entertainers and all that, they catching hell. You know, some of them living it up. But guess what? That last judgment is those 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 nukes, those missiles to destroy America, Babylon the Great. But that's another topic, you see. So it says, verse 44, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearken hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord, thy God or thy power, because that's our power. To keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee. So we went off. We didn't keep his law, statutes, and commandments. We try to follow uh, after all these other um, um, nations in our past lives. So we 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 was bad in our past lives. We didn't follow the how about Shemi Yahweh in our past lives. So in th these up and coming lives, which reincarnation is um, biblical in his in his life is true. It only makes sense. It's recycled. Everything is reincarnated. So we live in now because we went off back then. But and if we after we pay for our sins, we're going to live it up. And Esau got to pay, too. So, um, yeah. So I hope that answered the question. It pretty much did. Um, yeah, I can go to I can read 48. It says, um. Therefore, that thou shalt serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Listen. Oh, here it is. Okay. Here's another one. Verse 48. Therefore, shall thou serve thy enemies. Who is our enemies? The so-called white man. The other nations. The Edomites. The Moabites. The Ammonites. You know, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Arabs. They are our enemies. It says, which the Lord shall send against thee. Listen to this. In hunger. And in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. That's why Kanye West was bitching because he was like, oh, no black people run the clothing industry. These small hats, the Amalekites own everything. That's why Jake can't own anything because we up under curses. Let's read it again. It says, verse 48. Therefore, shall thy serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. And in hunger, the food. Who owns all the restaurants? Who owns all the food industry? Esau. 
It says, in thirst, who, are, who, who owns the water? Who owns the lakes? Esau. It says, in the nakedness, who owns the clothing industry and all that? The fashion industry. Esau. It says, and in one of all things, who own everything? These Amalekites. Esau. So, we got to go to them for everything. I remember you, uh, Doggy Diamonds, asked a similar question, like, uh, why we don't own anything? Well, that's why. You know? It says in one of all things. So these Amalekites own everything. The Rothschilds are worth trillions. Trillions. They, they worth so much money, you can't even count their money. But guess what? That's all going. That's originally for us. They hold on to our stuff because guess what? That's put up for us. We are the rulers of the, uh, the world. But they just written right now because we went up so the heavenly father picked the lowest being to punish us that's power right there he took the lowest uh form of a human being to be over us to punish us so isn't that a power that's that's a perfect that hey the heavenly father uh punished really punished us you know you got these damn devils walking around can't even stand in the damn sun for uh a half a day and and, and, and and they got our women worshiping that, you know, and we got to put up with that. But, hey, we went up, you know, but we're going to get all that back. We're going to get all our glory back. The Lord, uh, first of all, Yahweh, 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 and then us, you know, it's an order. So let's read it one more time. It says, therefore, shall thy serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he had been until he had destroyed thee. So who the only one if you if you go on Google and look up slavery, you'll see a so-called black man with a yoke of iron on his neck. We pretty much the only uh, nation that had yoke yokes of iron around our neck. Yeah. And I, I'm going to read 49. Um. I'm going to go on the spirit. It says, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the, the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth. Who always going around representing the eagle? So-called white man. He used it in Petra. He used it in Rome. He used the eagle. The American eagle is the, uh, the flag, the American eagle. That's the symbol of the United States is the eagle. You see? So you can't get no, hey, the the pieces to the puzzle are put together, but only the elect going to see. So let's read them um, again. It says, the Lord shall bring a nation against thee. And that's Edom. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from from far from the end of the earth as swift as the eagle fly. A nation whose tongue thou shall not understand. And we were speaking Hebrew. The so-called um, Gadites, the Native Americans, was so-called Native Americans, which are the Gadites, were speaking Hebrew. Jake on the west coast of Africa was speaking Hebrew and Jake and uh, England was speaking English or Anglo-Saxon, however it is, which Anglo-Saxon means the angel sons of Isaac. Who's the angel sons of Isaac? Jacob. Now the, the demonic sons of Isaac are Esau. <laughs> so, so uh, uh, hey, one more verse, one more verse. Verse 50, it says, a nation of fierce continents. Yeah, they were. Which shall not regard of the person of old, nor show favor the young. So they, they, they ain't show us no mercy. These Edomites were cruel to us. And we're going to be cruel right back to them in, in the kingdom. You know, they're going to build up our, our kingdom. Uh, they're going to get double everything they did to us, double unto them. So um, why are we always at the end of uh, the losing stick on this side? Because we went off and the Heavenly Father is punishing us. But guess what? The end to the story is we're going to win in the end, you know, we got next. So, you know, after you get punished, you ain't punished no more. We're going to enjoy, we're going to enjoy, forever enjoy life after this hell. So I hope this was edifying to the body. I hope I answered that question. Um, till again, Shalom.